My son Nicholas Sandman was the victim of the most uh, sensational Twitter attack on a minor child in the history of the internet. Ted Sandman says online attacks targeting his son Nicholas appeared with a vengeance after the Covington Catholic student appeared in this short video captured in the nation's capital. The mid-January encounter between the 16-year-old high school junior and Native American activist Nathan Phillips went viral, with many assuming Nick Sandman intentionally disrespected Phillips. Despite later evidence to the contrary, Sandman says worldwide scorn was heaped on his son on social media. I believe legislation to criminalize the worst tendencies of the Twitter mob is vital to restoring <clears throat> public discourse. Today, Ted Sandman testified in support of a Kentucky bill that would make doxing or an online attack against a minor involving publishing personally identifying information a crime. Doxing occurs when uh, somebody takes an event and uses it through social media and they try to intimidate a person, abuse them, threaten, harass them or frighten them. And we're talking about minors. We can't let the Internet be a wild environment where we can abuse minors at will. A Senate committee approved the anti-doxing measure this afternoon, despite concerns about criminalizing free speech. When I first read it, what I thought about was when I visited Soviet Russia and when I visited China. Now, the word doxing is derived from docs, an abbreviation for documents. It started when hackers compiled publicly available but often difficult to obtain documents about people and posted those documents online. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.